Hey, it's David. Today I'm upgrading the clutch lever on the KTM Duke. I tend to use a two finger on the clutch. So on bikes like the Duke, I do like to upgrade to a shorty lever on the clutch or a stunt clutch. It's fairly simple to swap them over, but not all of these are equal and not all of them will fit your bike. So choose carefully. This one I know works on the bike because it's a Rock Bagaros stunt lever and he uses them on his KTM Dukes. The other problem you do have with these is that the actual safety switch won't work. So got to bear that in mind when you make the change because what you need to do is to disconnect the safety switch and just tuck the electrics out the way. Let's get in to what it takes to fit one of these. I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast and every moment counts baby i don't want to miss a thing we can sleep under the stars we can sleep under the stars or hang out in hotel bars driving somewhere in your car we can sleep under the stars we can sleep under the stars under the stars And that's all there is to upgrading the clutch 
to the two finger version of the Rock Bagaros stud clutch that I've got. You can buy a one finger as well, but uh, I'm happy with two. It just suits my riding style. And when you've got thick winter gloves on, it's just that little bit of extra lever to get a hold of. Now, as with any clutch uh, adjustments, you may need to move the cable uh, down at the engine end and fine tune it up top to get the bike just where you want it. But really, that's a matter of getting it out, getting it roughly set right and then taking it out on the road and moving it about a bit, which I can't really do at the moment because we're in lockdown. But uh, that's it. I'm really happy I finally got that in place. Looking forward to giving it a ride when I can get that out there. And undoubtedly I'll have to fine tune the adjustments to get it spot on. Don't forget that uh, the clutch switch, you need to move the switch if you're having any trouble with starting it because that way it thinks the clutch lever is actually pulled. But experiment with that if you have any problems. And as I say, once I've got the uh, headlamp off this next, I will see about whether I can just disconnect the cable or just jump it so that it permanently thinks the clutch is pulled in. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you again soon. Thank you.